And we are live. Hello, everybody. Sarah's been over here. Click, 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 click. <laughs> Something apparently um, did not want to let us get to you, ladies, and say hello today. Um, anyway, wow, ladies, I've already been challenged today. And like things where it's like my head, there's so much in my head. And so anyway, I had to start with a prayer right before I got on. So ladies, I just appreciate you being here. Um, I hope if you're having anything that you're getting challenged with today too, that uh, putting in a prayer your way that your angels come lift you up and get you through the solution also. So anyway, we are going to have some fun. I cannot believe the different things that we're going to have for you. So we have some of the vault items and the vault items are items um, that I've designed over the last three decades and I we've gone in and literally taken out our original samples and then the change of another sample so a lot of the sets are like we only have one one piece in each of the items I'm going to be showing you so you won't see pictures of some of these because it's a one-off piece so for us to be able to get you a good price um, it takes a lot of work to get it into the website um, doing all the photos and all this we just want to get it like really have you have a really specialty item that um, you might have seen floating out there somewhere, but there's literally one left. So um, a lot of the rings, we might only have an eight in the first part of it, but Sarah will let you know. Um, sometimes in the silver items, we might have two items and we might have two sizes like in a bracelet for you. So um, I think there's really something for everybody. Uh, Yoga Kitty's on its way in too. And um, beautiful carved flowers but i feel like this was from my trip when i was in australia so um it was really funny when i did my trip to australia i was all about the birds so i came back and really um designed some things that um australia is one of my favorite little places to visit and i wanted to bring the best of bali so this is all that beautiful granulation work that bali is so known for um, every strand of silver is literally done by hand. We melt the silver, make all of our own silver wire, and those little beads come from the wire too. We, we do little clippings of them and then we heat it up and they go into this beautiful, silver loves to go into beautiful round spears when it's heated back up. So anyway, granulation work, and you see that beautiful cockatoo, because you know, I have the best time when I went to Australia because uh, there's signs everywhere don't feed the cockatoos and so anyway they literally will come up on your balcony when you're in Australia and you might be sitting out there eating something and the next thing you know there's like 30 to 50 birds that are swimming really? you the it's white like cockatoo. crows or seagulls that we have yeah. here <laughs> and it's like oh my gosh so I get so excited. So of course I give them something next thing you know, there's more. But anyway, so uh, I had a mini bar incident where I literally, they said, don't leave your doors open too. They and can't. he, they had a feast on my mini bar. You know how they put all that stuff out? Yeah. Anyway, I thought it was the coolest thing ever, but apparently they don't appreciate that in Australia. Oh, <laughs> Please keep your doors shut. So um, yeah, their little critters are um, anyway beautiful. So you, you know, people come to the Northwest and they see all of our orcas and different things too. Mm -hmm. So of course, it's not something that we have. So I, I just, anyway, I, I love birds. I just, I do. I think they're beautiful, God's creatures. So we have one of those and that's in the obsidian, yeah? Yep, and that was pendant J3864. And then we're gonna go into the yes. rest of this parrot oh my God. set. Super cute. Yes, so this kind of was that same series that I brought and I did at the same time. So anyway, stone cut cutters that carved that. And then I have the little set. And ladies, you know I love to design green pendant bracelet. I always like to do the, the series of it. So um, what should I start with first? What Let's start with the bracelet. Okay. Bracelet 3863 is a seven inch fitting from a six to a seven, seven, five. And while she's touring that, I did want to remind you all that you can find all of this product under the sky blue vault, which will be under Sarda socials and specials. You'll see that sky blue vault and uh, you can follow along shopping there. Um, and you'll see that J number that I give you. That is your, gonna be your identifier to find the product on that page. Super easy to put on with these toggles too. Just love it. Of course, I gotta get used to my new short nails now. I was used to the long ones and I just cut them all back off. So isn't that fun? And um, of course you have the Bali snake chain that's still all hand woven. So beautiful, Bali. 
Um, there's two chains that I use the most because they're so old. Like these are ones that, um, you know, when I first got to Bali, um, it was super rustic and not well, like done that well. So it's been a journey of really making this best um, type of chain. And we do it all in house to make sure that it's all nine to five. Um, a lot of the other chain and stuff that came from other areas of Bali, we were kind of struggling to make sure it was pure. We want to make sure it's sterling silver. So we do that all in house to ensure that you're getting the best quality that you can get. So beautiful. Okay, so uh, let me go straight into the pendant because this is a medallion and I love doing the medallions. Look at look at the feathers. Look at the layers of it. Is isn't that just incredible? Look at that. And um, this is pendant J3865. Okay. And so anyway, I love how he was latched on too with that too. Um, but yeah, just a little bit of other design. And of course, these are our other bales. So um, most of our bales will always fit, fit up to at least a seven millimeter um, in our older styles like that. So I do have the earrings and then I have the ring. We've got ring 3866, that is a size eight. And then I'll grab that ring for you too. Okay, it is a size eight, ladies, okay? So there's my Tree of Life scroll work. Um, of course, I always incorporate that little Tree of Life um, into a lot of the designs that I do. So a finished gallery back, of course. Look at, is he just cute? Low profile. Yeah, you ladies like a lot of that low profile designs. Okay, well there is our very first collection. Um, the next one I'm gonna go into is a work of art. Look at this. Oh my gosh. So I know I was beautiful. commenting on this one before the show. It's How like, gorgeous. Well, and it's so funny because this is one that was really popular and I've kind of been uh, working on kind of updating and bringing some things back like this. So there might be some things coming up, ladies, that, um, yeah, I've been really inspired, look, you know, pulling out some of these other items. So, um, again, we don't know what we're going to bring in, or um, but a few we do, but we're going to keep it a surprise until they get close. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. This is the red jasper, so it's really pretty, right? The color. Yep. Um, think about your carnelians and all your other things. But this bracelet is a size seven, so uh, who's this gonna fit, Sarah? That is a size seven, so it'll fit anywhere from a six to a seven. It does have some malleability since it is a cuff, mm -hmm. um, which is nice. And then we've got coordinating pendant one nine nine five, and coordinating size eight ring one nine nine six. And this is all those really cool rustic frangipanis. And then look at, isn't that so beautiful? This is one of the, the bales you didn't see very much of this, but um, yeah, I made this one special just for this pendant. Um, but you get all the little rustic frangipanis in there also. Um, but um, just so you know on this one, ladies, this has the malleability, but this one does not have a kickback though, okay? So this is gonna be that holder, harder structured type cuff, okay? Because um, a lot of times, you know, a lot of my newer pieces, you know, we've incorporated kickbacks in, in a lot of them. So I just want you to know what you're getting. Look how gorgeous this is incorporated to make sure that that snuggy hug fit. When you have something of this size, I need it to be just really customized so that you can just move around with this kind of piece. Yeah, these statement rings are so fun. Yeah, that is great. And there's your friend Japani. There's your <laughs> rustics. But that under gallery, that's, oh my gosh. I had so much fun when I was starting to do these types of rings because I really want that really custom feel. Okay, so that is your sucker set and off to the races we go. See some volcanic <gasps> quartz up next. Oh my gosh, do you know how many people were asking about this collection before, like when I retired it? Because these earrings and the pendant, like and especially the earrings were so hard to get this nailed down. Um, but look how beautiful too. So this gorgeous, like you see, it's like domed gallery on the back that sits up against you. And these literally have that movement, but um, that's done in the Janelle Adair. So yeah, these were really popular and I had to retire them because I only had a couple artisans and that we could not hit the dates that we were supposed to be doing. Um, sometimes like the skill level of the difficulty of some of the pieces, um, that's, 
That's why they had to get retired. Oh, that was I earring six four seven three. We've got ring six four seven two in a size eight. Eight. Okay. Ooh, and it's true to size, ladies. Oh, I love this style. I love the overlapping. Like I got inspired and did so many different uh, ring styles. Once I did this one, you're recognizing some of the the shapes. But man, just really a beautiful fit. But what a gorgeous ring, right? We love volcanic because literally the embers look like lava. Like, you know, it's got the oranges, the flashes of blue, but it literally looks like volcanic lava on fire. Okay, and then the bracelet. And ladies, this is going to fit a ton of people, Sarah, right? Yep, this is bracelet 6470. It's a 675, fitting from a 6 to an 8. See, I love that because you're just going to be able to scoop that right on and hook that right in. And then it it's, it's fits like a almost like a bangle, but you've got that adjustability on it and that security right of closing it off. Okay, so there we go with that one. Oh my pendant. goodness! Oh my gosh! I left the pendant over here. Are you kidding? Okay, no, it is awesome, and it swings also. So, um, man, I love this piece. Pendant six piece. four seven one uh, does have a magnet enhancer. Oh yes. Yes, and this is during the time that I was able to do the magnet enhancer. Oh, I love this pendant. Oh my gosh, will you start this one? Because mm -hmm. this whole, this took forever to uh, figure this one out. And I'm like, how many really cool gemstones do we do? And then I have the Janelle Adair. Wouldn't you just love seeing a bunch of my other gemstones like this too? Because oh, yeah. these are the ones that I just love. They're like fidget pendants. And look at the detail the beadwork is on both sides of this. That's nuts. Okay, that's a gorgeous piece. Okay. Every once in a while, there's a pendant where I'm just like, yes. Okay, so, oh my gosh. This, now, this is the pink vapor, isn't British it? British tea rose. Oh, this was when we were doing British tea rose. Yep. Okay, this has a really beautiful um, concave cut to it. Yes, it so, sure does. Wow. Bracelet 6449 is a size 7, fitting a 6.5 to a 7.5. You know what? This almost looks like this new color. It's interesting. You know how ladies always say as you cut things, they change the color sometimes? This almost looks very similar to this new one we're using called Gladiolo Blossom. So, well, sure we just does. did it the other day yeah. in the... But anyway, it just, it has really beautiful oranges, right? It and almost gives, this one almost gives like a little bit of a flash of yellow, yes. which I feel like you don't typically see. No, I mean, it definitely feels like a spring flower to me. Okay, so here is the pendant, and it does have the magnet enhancer on it also. Pendant 6450. Okay. Anyway, I hope you ladies are having a really awesome uh, day. I hope you had a great weekend. Um, anyway, it's, I gotta tell you, there's a lot going on here at Sarda. Earring 6452. I love this side on this too. I just think that, like, I think this earring would be a really perfect little button earring, too. We need that. We oh, need yeah, that for sure ladies. Oh. oh, and I did it again. And then ring. ring 6451 in a size 8. Okay, it looks like I'm keeping you waiting on, like, one piece of everything I'm doing here. <laughs> I'm, like, hiding it or something. And that is a size 8, um, ladies. And, yeah, beautiful. So this is that kind of one that goes larger. It does fit on my eight, and I think with the openness, um, but I could absolutely wear it on my seven too because of the size of it. When it's like this cage, it would keep it on. So if you're a seven or an eight, this probably is gonna work for you. Nice. Okay. Some lotus bangles up next. Okay, oh my gosh, and do you know, um, I've got to bring this out because I did, so I designed this other Lotus collection and it's one of those things where I've been waiting like three or four years to get the other Lotuses. And so um, we have actually that lined up for this year, but I literally designed it and presented it to somebody, but it never went somewhere. So um, I kind of excited to, um, bring it out because the lotus in the story of the lotus is, is like my like I feel like it's my journey yeah <laughs> I love it it's perfect symbolism it. yes. for new creation this is earring four five four two perfect little studs 
And then we've got this bangle 4540 in two sizes, a size seven fitting a five, seven, five to a seven, and a size eight fitting a seven to an eight and a quarter. Well, and wow, is there some gram weight in this? Ladies, this is a luxury, luxury couture style. When I say that, because it's going to like be so impressive when you get this, the feel of it, it is absolutely a luxury bangle. This is the one that feels like you should have actually got it in a department store and you paid like good and plenty for it. So yeah, this one is, look at the gallery. See, when I do those kind of bracelets, I really will bling that gallery out to make sure too, because I know it's, it's not something that I can do all the time. And it's got the magnet retention. So you see where that just locks right into. Busy girl bracelet is what I call it. Busy girls. So we want on and off easy. Okay, um, you ladies must have seen Yoga Kitty in it, and there is now only the earrings for Yoga Kitty. So everything else looks like it did sell out, um, but you can see the little flower, and yep, the little pose. A crisscross applesauce, that's how I sit all the time. Same. Um, everybody's like, how can you sit like that? Well, I'm hyper flexible. Same. Which people are like, don't get they it. They always make fun of me for sitting on my legs mm -hmm. in my little stool. Know, but it's, you know, here's the thing. It's horrible because I have back issues. Mm -hmm. I can't stretch far enough. So I literally have to have somebody come like a pretzel just to stretch pretzel. me out. I can't stretch myself out because they're like, you look like a contortionist at this point. So. And then the cat earrings were earring 2279. And then we've got an owl suite. Um, the unseen is eternal is the name of this. Uh, we've got bangle 2730. It's a 675 <coughs> fitting from a 6 to a 675. Okay. So, um, man, I love this little uh, bracelet because um, it kind of incorporates all that really beautiful. I love using the infinity, the alpha, the omega. Like for me, when I do those patterns, because it's like that security. Like, so I'll mix a lot of that. I love the symbolism for me. Um, Everything I do right now always points me back to him. <laughs> so anyway, he is beautiful and he does have a kickback. And um, yes, a gorgeous, gorgeous style. And the, the owl, right? The wise owl. And I always equate him to the serenity prayer because if I, I have wisdom when I actually say the serenity prayer because I realize I have no control over others. I have control over myself, mm -hmm. how I react. Don't always do good with that. So like daily, I have to then take my inventory at night and kind of go, Lord, help me do better. Um, but you know what? You're going to have days or people where sometimes it's hard. But you know what? He's going to, if we keep asking for his help, he'll keep helping us. And he'll keep, um, yeah, we'll keep growing in him, right? Okay, so look at how detailed this little cute, oh my gosh, he's so good. Look at him. And now this is ring 2732. This is a size 5. Oh, I was, yep, he is. Oh, five is my pinky. Oh, he yeah, actually kind of, yeah. He could hang out on my pinky easily. He's very happy. Yeah. It's like the, the, the cat outdoors. So we have an office cat. There's always cats that come here that we take care of. And I, put, I brought him a blanket today. And he is out there sleeping on it. He's so Sweet happy. Baby. So I feel like that's like, see how snuggy it was? I feel like he's out there on his blanket like that today. Okay, look at the pendant. Um, yeah, he's, the, the detail on all of this is just, it's just beautiful. Pendant 2731. Yeah, I love the critters. And I love the collaboration that I have with my team when we do these pieces. Um, yeah, it was just one of those things that really brought such unity. Um, and these would always be the ones that I work on when I, when I go home. Earring 2733. Okay, here we go. Okay, so next is the peach moonstone. Okay. We'll start it off with bracelet 6349. It's a 675, fitting a five and a half to an eight. Okay, so um, we'll start off right with that. The color of this peach moonstone is fun. Well, this is a celestial pink moonstone, so it's a little bit something extra. So is that really, and it, you almost get a pink out of it. So a lot of times we call, would 
it's almost like a celestial pink peach, but a really beautiful neutral. Yeah, it, ma it matches gorgeous. your outfit today perfectly. Well, I need to know. I love these kind of colors. And um, guess what? This is one of the colors of the year. This is what yep. you're going to see a ton of. So, ladies, this is your time because guess what? We can't get the celestial peach right now. So, um, this will be your on your B Pantone color of the year uh, friendly because you're going to see a lot of clothing like that. But see, for me, the khakis and stuff, we'll be bringing you some stuff. But unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get a lot of this stone, which is just bums me out. And that was ring 6351. We've got pendant 6350. <clears throat> and this is a hidden slider veil. Okay. And then we had earring 6352 for that. Okay. We've got some kunzite and pink sapphire up next. So, um, you know, I love Kunsai and I would like absolutely like use so much more of it if I could, but do you see that beautiful like chatoyant cat's eye pop? That's what I try to find. This is real Burmese Myanmar pink sapphire. So this is like, th this is quite an elite collection right here. Ring 4935 is a size eight. We've got pendant 4934. These are your actual pieces you'll get. So I wanted to kind of show you what this stone you'll be getting. So <clears throat> to create that cat's eye, you have to have inclusions. So it's impossible to get a fully, you know, do you see that is part of how, how that goes? So it's not a broken or cracked stone, but to get that cat's eye roll, it, Literally, you can't get one without the, the other. Yep. So, and then we've got earring four nine three six. And these, of course, like see, it looks like there's a little bit of the um, the the probably the granite that's in it. So, just want you to be aware of that because this is the piece you would actually get. So, want to make sure that you're approving the stones you want. And we've got a question, are peach and pink moonstones similar? Yes, yes, sometimes we see it more pink, sometimes we see it more peach, but it is the same. It's just at the time that we're, I, I'm designing, sometimes I see it more. So some of that inconsistency is me as a designer, I'm going, oh, peach, this is pink, you <laughs> Depends know. Depends on what the but both comes of them get kind of a peachy pink, but yeah, they all coordinate together. So if you get one from me today or from five years ago, is pretty much going to blend in. It's okay. the same material too, it's a feldspar. Okay, this is another cuff that is malleable and can be adjusted also. And I love these pieces because really it's important when you have these that the gem is stable. Okay, so a lot of people will incorporate, I do a fully separate piece than the band so you can actually, you know, um, take, whoops, and it's a seven and a half so that you can adjust this so let me put that on for yep. you. Yep, we've got this fitting from a six to a seven. This is bracelet two nine, or 2709. This has got right wave mystic quartz and salmon pink mystic topaz. That's all hand on laid in the inside of this. This is all that granulation work. And that right wave, that fancy cut that I did, I remember at the time, like those, those are the, the big bucks kind of cutting. But isn't that just a gorgeous color yeah, too? Yeah, that is gorgeous. And then you've got your gorgeous little topazes too that so pretty, so pretty. Okay, so we are going to go, oh my gosh, the lucky ladybug. Do you, oh my gosh, this is one of my favorite collections that I designed. One of my first pieces too that I did some really, really pretty back galleries. So, um, you know, I did it for my higher end clients and always did the galleries for the department stores, but I thought, you know what? And you know, other designers that I designed for, but I thought, I, that was my first time that I thought, ladies, I'm going to start bringing it for you so you have those really beautiful galleries too. Now, it wasn't price friendly to really in the, the market that I was in, so those were extras I never added on to the cost because I just wanted you to really have that luxury, luxury jewelry. Um, okay, so 
And that was bracelet 3366, a 675, fitting from a 6 to a 675. And then we've got pendant uh, 3367, and this is a slide on veil. Yeah, so you can see. But yeah, these cuts are amazing. And see, malleability to it, so you can really just like press it in. But what a gorgeous piece, huh? Oh, wow. And these are the ones you can, you know, make it a little bit more fitted if you want. But yeah, this is this going to take a lot of people's sizing for sure. But man, this is just artwork. Uh, yeah, the detail in that oh, is so pretty. chef's kiss. <coughs> okay, this was my rendition. People were asking me for octopuses all the time and sea life. <laughs> so when I came up with this, is literally, I don't know if you're, you're getting that vibe, if you're seeing both the um, ocean and you're seeing basically all those octopus tentacles, which I just thought was really beautiful because I really took my S. So, you know, I did a lot of designs with my S for Sarva. So I thought, oh my gosh, I can make that kind of the S for my, my recognizable. And it's funny because people will go, is this a sort of piece? Like there's just a DNA that I have in my, like, well, first, I guess, cause I'm drawing everything. So everything <laughs> tends to, to really kind of have that flavor. But yeah, so this would match back to a lot of the other pieces that I designed in the past for you too. But you get that really cool, look at the coral in my tree of life, of course. Um, but this is, this is actually a medallion. This is, this has got some, whoopsie. This has got some weight to it, okay? This is the Earnest Effort Collection, pendant 2378. And then See, earrings quite a bit smaller, sorry. Yep, earrings uh, 2380. And then, just fun, right? So if you're going on a cruise or a trip or something like that, it's just, yeah, something fun to like pack in your bag for your, your trip. Or any of those Florida babes, I feel like they're always at the beach, so. I love, I always love looking for seashells and things like that. That uh, is bracelet 2377, a 725, fitting a 6 to an 8. And then, uh, did we do the pendant? So I love this part too because I did the smaller rendition. You saw it was, it was basically. Um, and what, what is it, sir? Oh, uh, this is a 725, fitting a 6 to an 8. So there you go, your seashell set. I also did um, a set, I kind of expanded gemstone set off of this in uh, the blue Ethiopian opal, the Paraiba Ethiopian opal. So I, I don't think we've shown that yet, but it's, I know I pulled it and it's gonna be coming up. Um, okay, so let's go into, oh, I just love this bracelet. Matter of fact, this is one that I said, um, why I, I always meant to make an all silver version um, of this bracelet because I love it. I think Sheila calls this my bubble bracelet, like some of them because they're really pretty like that. Um, but this is that really, really gorgeous, probably number one opal. And I put a, I window boxed it. So I put a piece of natural quartz over the top of it. Okay, so you're gonna get that really, that pop of those colors. Can you imagine mixing this with your really, your warm tones or your pinks? It could really go in either way because you get a pink undertone to this and orange yellow green too. Love that. And this is the salmon pink uh, opal quartz doublet with the pale plum mystic topaz bracelet. Six nine three four is a six seven five, fitting a six to a seven. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, and the ring, and it looks like we do have a size eight on this one. We sure do. Ring six nine three six. True to size. So pretty, right? Okay, and um, pendant. Pendant Enhancer. six nine three five. And then coordinating stud dangle, 6937. Okay. I really like this next one coming up. Mm. Okay. So, and you do. I do so like this one. Oh my gosh, this had a life of its own, this gemstone. 
Um, yeah, it's the Golden South Sea Pearl uh, shell. <laughs> so you know Sarah has champagne test also. So um, no surprise that this was one of your favorites. Um, so anyway, really, really beautiful. Um, and it's, it's done in that mosaic, so it's, it is really pretty. And this is a toggle saw bracelet, and it is going to fit a ton of people because there's some adjustability to it also. Yep. Bracelet 6389 is a 725, fitting from a 6 to an 8. Okay, the pendant. This is one of my favorite, um, really old school, where the wire is literally done in this and then framed in, and then to secure it is where we do the jaw beads. So yeah, this was like one of our hardest kind of styles, but I use this for one full like season. Um, so this was fun to bring something back that I had not used. I didn't do a lot, it was, it was a, a little bit of a smaller collection, but um, it was something that I used and I designed for a lot of other people too. Love that, and that was pendant. 6391 and size 8 ring 6390. So, oops. Yeah, that built up detail is what I really enjoy yeah. about this piece. It's, you really see that hand detail and that amazing granulation work in this piece. And yeah, the goldish, like you see the shimmering of the different colors, like beautiful, beautiful rainbow sheets. Okay. So, on to the swans. Oh my gosh, we have so many cool critters this time. Yeah, we've got quite a few today. Oh my gosh, and it was so funny because I always remember, like, nobody got because it was so beautiful. And it's, they literally always did the ring upside down. So, yes, you see her. Um, this is where she kind of goes in and she's nesting here. Just beautiful. And this I love because so many of the critters, I used to do really big things. And then I'm like, oh my gosh. If this was the season that I tried to go as low profile as I could for you. I love the story of this one. Ring 1954. We've got in a size 5 and a size 8. So pretty, right? Okay, and the bracelet. And I did the, the hand-twisted cable on the bracelet there. Okay. Bracelet 1952 is a 6 and a half, fitting a 6 to a 675. And yeah, this is definitely for more of a petite wrist. This is a good size for sure. Yeah, it's so fun to see my progression of different things that I did. And you know, I, I'm seeing some things that I, we do differently now. It still is great quality pieces, but it's like, it's so funny where I've evolved to like, nope, we're doing this, and nope, I'm doing this, and I'm changing this, so. But it's it's really beautiful to see how gorgeous the jewelry still was, you know, oh, yeah. even back, way back then. Earring 1955, five. and then the we've pendant. got, yep, coordinating oh. pendant 1953. Biggest piece of the collection right there, ladies, wow. I know, I love doing the medallions, like, they, yeah, those were always my favorite. <gasps> Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, so we're having like a major critter show. So look at that bunny. He's so cute. He's so, so cute. Look at his little cotton tail. <laughs> Ring 2390 is a size 8. And then we've also got the pendant and bracelet. The amount of detail that goes into it. So cute, right? Look at his body. Okay, so which way? Maybe he's hopping that way. Okay, and the other pieces, we got the pendant. And I think when I did this, I did the pendant and the ring together. And then later, everybody wanted to have a uh, bracelet. Matching bracelet. So I did something a little bit different in the bracelet. And that was pendant 2389, and we've got bracelet 2388, which is a 675, fitting a five and a half to an eight. There we go. So there you go. The bunnies. Okay. So on to the next. Oh, I'm seeing more critters. Oh my gosh, goodness. I'm seeing a mermaid on here. I'm seeing some 
more of the opal, which is going to be beautiful. But ladies, kind of cool because we do have some amber coming soon. Um, but this was the amber that I did a long time ago. So um, we're gonna have four pieces of the amber in this. So let's go to this because it is pretty. Look at the, the my beautiful S Sardis swirl filigree bezel, the little rustic fringe of panties, and then you're going to have that really awesome extender with the Janelle Monteer, uh, the Sarda lobster claw. So this can fit a lot of people, huh? Sarah? Yeah, this is bracelet 6930. It's a six and a half, fitting from a 575 to a 775. And then we've got matching ring 6932 in a size 8. True to size. And yeah, we love amber. Ooh, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, okay, and then we have a pendant with a magnet enhancer. Pendant 6931. See the little flowers? The little, same little bezel. Fringe of panties on both sides. Becky Wyford is curious, what is different about pressed amber? Pressed amber? This we have listed as pressed oh, amber. Oh, it's still amber. It's But most amber now has been, they take all the amber and they put it all together. Mm -hmm. Then they recut it. So um, it's, it's not where it used to be, where maybe it was raw pieces, but most of it coming now because that's all that's left mm -hmm. they take it they press it all back together and then they recut it Perfect. um so amber um unless well it's, i can't even say that unless you're paying like um but all amber that's all that's left now so unless you're you've got something that's really really old and antique like people are saying oh it's stay antique and it's really pressed amber mm -hmm. so and this is earring six nine three three but it's real amber. It's not fake, it's not lab created, no. It's truly real Baltic amber, just so you know. Okay, so I forgot to show this earring. So onto the sunstone. And then <gasps> these go with the sunstone too. Oh We've yes. We've got yes. two sizes in bracelet, oh, six, nice. three, four, six, a six, seven, five, fitting a six to a seven, and a seven, five, fitting a six, seven, five to a seven, seven, five. I'm always happy to see some amber. I'm sorry, not some, well, amber, yes, but also some stun, sunstone. That little bit of glitter. And this is ring 6347 in a size eight. And this is accompanying with a carnelian. Microfaceted. Ugh. Some of my favorite, favorite, oh my gosh, matter of fact, we were looking at the uh, sunstones, um, new sunstone that came in, I'm just like, oh my gosh, I'm trying to use this. Okay, I love these earrings, I love these little columns, um, these are so cute, so cute. Earring 6348. I love that they're long, but they're very nice so and lightweight. lightweight. Wait. Yep. Oh my gosh, these are so lightweight, ladies, truck, like, oh my gosh. You, you have sensitive ears, like this is gonna give you that long look mm -hmm. and it's, you're gonna be like, what? I'm wearing earrings? Yeah, so cool. Okay, are we ready for the mermaid? Okay, we only have two pieces left. Okay, so ladies, the mermaid cuff, oh my gosh. Do you see the little seahorse here that she's like hugging? Like for me, you have to have that right because that any kind of animal I just wanna pick up and yeah, oh my gosh. See, those are her friends. See her little fin. I love all the detail coral. in the coral. Yep. Bracelet. Tree of life, always my signature. Uh, bracelet 2488 is a size 7, fitting from a 6 to a 7 to 5. This is one of my bracelets I do a lot. I had so much fun making all these pieces and then doing something. And very malleable, so you're able to really pinch that in, open it up. So you're gonna get some nice little adjustability there too. Okay, the ring. Okay, so here she is. Yep, she's got her hand, she's pushing her hair back so she can look beautiful. And that's the mermaid. Size eight ring, 2490. That's her little tail. 
tail there. Okay. Um, oh, we got a necklace. Man, we're doing butterflies, or and we're doing just everything. You know, all sorts of nature today. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to show you all of these really beautiful little charms. You know, and that's what I did is beads. So I love creating like little pieces and stuff, and then would come together with and and make full pieces. But this was in that necklace stage when I was able to do some necklaces. But first, let's start with the earrings because I did take one of the bead pieces, and this is um just a great little sweet little pair of earrings earring 2482 and then i used the ball oh this is a nice long one too holy toledo you got some uh length this is a 24 inches with four inches so that's 28 inches yeah okay. nice and long and this is necklace 2479 so this is the one butterfly i've done i've used in other pieces then I have this cute little guy here. You can see right here. And then I have, I might be showing this backwards because I do uh, both my designs. So there is that gorgeous, you see the little butterfly and do you see my little S swirl? I try to incorporate things of my, and then there, that's the one that was on the earring. And then um, I did it in a little leaf too. And that's the Tree of Life connector pieces that I use in um, this kind of in my signature line. This this was really what I had when I had my bead company. So the, this shape is like 30 years old and um, the design, I've done it in every motif. It was just kind of, I sold so many of those to beaters, you know, when I first did the jewelry. Mm -hmm. But then incorporated them into my finished pieces um, once I started doing full sets of jewelry. <gasps> We got some dragons again. Okay. I might have forgot that I even had this one. And I'm wondering the other, This is this the one that I did the big dragon cuff? The big thick dragon cuff? Uh, not sure. We just have these earrings in this uh, okay. collection. Earring I think it's 1950. Like oh, the big. Can you actually circle? Because mm -hmm. I, I was supposed to, you know how stuff came up? I was supposed to then tell the them yep we have to have that cut okay so it's uh incredible so anyway cool whoever gets these okay we're going straight into peacocks the abundantly blessed we've got two sizes in this bracelet six four seven nine we've got a six seven five fitting a six to a seven and a seven five Oops. fitting a six seven five to a seven seven five okay so there she is and um, you can see how beautiful, again, I love, I, I've done, I think four different peacock collections over the years. Whoops, and I think, um, sorry, I, I have the other kitty. I've been cutting the other kitty. So the other kitty outside has super long hair. Sorry about that. I know if there's a cat around, I'm petting it. So, or I'm feeding it. Okay, so, and here are the earrings. Earring 6482. Go on the citrine because ooh, these oh are some gosh, gorgeous this is citrine. A star yeah. citrine. Are you kidding me? Uh, yummy. Bracelet wow. six five four five comes in a six and a half, fitting a five seven five to a six seven five, and also comes in a seven two five, fitting a six seven five to a seven seven five. Gorgeous. And I've got a lot of stuff coming up with this. Oh, I love this. This is a scalloped eternity band. This is like literally for as much of the carat weight it's in this. This was one of those really low profile rings that I did. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's a, a nice, one. nice fitting ring. Size eight ring six five four seven, and then we've got matching earring six five four eight. What was I thinking? The cost of these now? What was I making earrings back then? Like if I like the stones are like four times what they used to be. I'm like, I'm gonna pop those out and use them in a single <laughs> bracelet. And for $119, great deal. I've oh my gosh, seriously. Earrings. Oh yeah. my gosh, I love it. I know, I did some crazy stuff on some of these gemstones and I wouldn't, I or really couldn't do some of these just because the cost ladies, 
Um, man, gemstones are getting just really crazy. Every day, every rotation, every reorder, it's just like, oh my gosh. And that was pendant. I don't think they're changing, and I don't think they're going down. Six, five, four, six, and then we've got some um, Bali Sunrise mm -hmm. uh, with salmon pink opal up next. Oh my next. gosh, this is that bracelet. The, I love just this bracelet. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, that was so funny because I was like, I know that's an opal style bracelet. Oh, this is so cute. Yep, and so bracelet 6720 comes in an oval 65, <gasps> fitting a 575 to a 675, oh, and a 7, good. fitting a 6 and a quarter to a 7 and a quarter. See, that was a 65. Oh my gosh. Like to me, this is that basic little bracelet that I would wear the heck out of and oh, yeah. stack with stuff. Oh my gosh, I love this bracelet. Okay, and you're going to see, I, of course, um, I did kind of a version with Fringe of Panties. I changed this up a little bit. Um, but this is one of my best selling type ring styles. Like when you put it on, you're going to think it's one of those King's rings yeah. because the, the, I mean, it's like luxury, luxury. Got to put on my boss finger ring, you know, yep. because you will start, you will feel like, whoa, I've really treated myself today. This is size eight ring, six, seven, two, two. And then we've got coordinating pendant, six, seven, two, one. Man, that Bali Sunrise was like the most amazing. And that was the Magnifi Sunrise. Um, those those were the those colors that pop like this. Okay, love, love. Man, I love this little bracelet. Okay, so you guys get that. I need that little piece. Um, that is perfection. Okay, oh my gosh, you guys literally did a critter show. Okay, so you did pull all my designs when I brought it over. So this is fully intentional critter show. That bracelet, oh my gosh. If, when I show you, oh, that's really hard to make. Really hard to make. Oh, look at the fairy. Or like maybe you're into ballet or, um, to me, she, she's like that fantasy girl. She's my little girl that I, used to be on my jewelry box. I do open and she twirls around in, in the It's a Music box. So I was able to kind of go back into my childhood and kind of pull out something I wanted to oh, do. Sweet. And people asked me, do you know, make a fairy. And I was like, oh, sh yes, Peter Pan and that kind of thing. So this was very fun, easy for me to bring my imagination there, right? Um, when we were young and the, the innocence of, yeah, that naivety that I want to keep sometimes and believe. Um, but then life sometimes will kind of tarnish us in that way. But you know what? Get back to that thinking. Uh, Oh gosh, this fits so good. Look at that. Yep, bracelet oh three, four, one eight and a seven and a quarter, so cool. fitting from a six to an eight. This, see how beautiful this this bracelet is. Yeah, that's really pretty. Um, this one I really kind of love too because I would, if you earn to charm bracelets, you could attach other pieces to this to create your own charm bracelet. You sure could. You know, this might be a style of, we, yeah. I know I, I've got to take that time to sit down and design some other new type things, but it's kind of crazy because a lot of these other pieces were like, I want to do it, but I want to improve on it mm -hmm. to bring it back because they were so pretty. Pendant 3419. And it's hard to imagine some of these pieces can even get better because they're so beautiful already. <laughs> yeah, I feel okay. See, thank you, sir. Thank you, because like reality, you know, so it's really hard to get them like that. But yeah, I always and, and and I think that's so hard because I don't ever want anybody to feel like not because I look at something and go, I you know after I've done it and go, oh, I can do this and make it even better. Um, but going, oh no, it is absolutely amazing the way it is. Mm -hmm. But it is. Um, it's really hard because I'm so tied to the ladies and I want them to, if I have another little secret twist, I, I want to upgrade. Oh, wow, this is a cool ring. Well, this fits really good. That it's was really earring fun. 3421 and then we've got size 8 ring yeah, that's 3420. Yeah, these were like, I took separate rings and just kind of played with them, you know? And then, yeah, that's where that one came. Um, Hard to duplicate those kind of bands again, though. Oh my gosh, do you know the earrings? Oh my gosh. So if you have any of those dragons left, looks like there's one pair of the dragon earrings left. 
And this is earring 6404. Yeah, this is a good, this is a great little earring. I love this little earring. And I know we still have the pendant and bracelet available for that. Story. Okay, this is the, uh, this, I believe this is the chocolate zircon. Isn't it the chocolate champagne zircon? Champagne zircon is okay, what I've got here. Champagne, um, but yeah, this was beautiful. This was something later I tried to go in and reorder, but doesn't it look like the diamonds, the color of the diamonds, right? Yeah. Oh, Earring so pretty. Earring 4525. Size 8 ring, 4524. Yeah, this is a very rare zircon, and it was not something that I could reorder, so I kind of like held on to the stones a long time. Look at that. It looks like chocolate, multi It chocolate. does look like a chocolate diamond almost. Wow. Okay, so you're getting your middle piece. I, look at, look at the, look at how hard. The, this is not an easy hinge to do, just so you know. Wow. Bracelet 4522 oh. is a 625, fitting Ooh. a 6 to a 725. Oh, yeah, this is a little smaller. Look at it. So, yeah, it's like, you know what? I feel like this kind of a gemstone needed to be kind of a little bit more of a fitted type mm -hmm. piece. It looks nice fitted. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Wow, that's a lot of work. Um, also, too, we have one person who diamond sets all those. <laughs> So that, those kind of collections always took a long time. <gasps> okay. Oh my gosh. This is the one that um, when I work on something for so long and it's like you just can't do something like ladies, I, I just, this is such a beautiful, beautiful piece. And I always try to put really affordable pricing on these types of things too. This is the Ask God to Change You set. We've got cuff 6393 it's a size 7 fitting a 6 to a seven and a half. Oh my gosh love love this collection see yeah there's just some that are just elegant and just high-end and this is definitely one of those one well, i love butterflies because that new beginning it's like i'm constantly on a journey of new beginnings so i love it you don't just get one it's constant, so for me, butterflies, it's like, yeah. This I is can, a we'll change you if you necklace ask. 6392. It's a 20 inch with four inches of extension. This is a piece, like this is not an easy kind of necklace to do. And it is, it, it's just pure luxury. I love how the wingspan is gonna like lay on your chest mm -hmm. so nicely. And then I, the, of course, uh, four inches of it adjustability too that you get with this necklace too. And then of course your earrings. Now there's gonna be some weight on these earrings though, ladies. So you ladies that love the larger earrings, this is for you. Um, but sensitive ears, no, because yes, I had to go just like, yeah, wanted something really dramatic. I see it so funny on different television shows in the room, these huge earrings and I mm -hmm. look at their ear, like, is it stretching? Oh, of course it's stretching. Like, <laughs> Are they tired? I'm like, I guess everybody just knows. But. This is earring 6395. I've seen some things um, where you put like almost little silicone stickers mm -hmm. on the back and it helps like keep them upright. I don't know if that actually works, but I've oh. seen them. You know what? There's so many fun things that yeah, you can order now and with. different things. Like, oh, you have a problem for that? There's something for that. Yeah, like, you got something like, for you? No worries. No worries. Okay. Oh, we were talking yes. about this beautiful cup before the, the this show. This all granulation work. Yes. Yep, all hand done. Look at the owl. And this is bracelet 2085. It's a size 6, fitting a 6 to a 7. And you'll see that it is a little bit tapered on the fit. Yep, because it, um, our arm tapers up. So literally, I love these kind of cups because see, you, it, you'll find it on your arm where it just sits perfectly because that's how your arm is. So um, that's kind of that really beautiful cut. <gasps> this was a loaf of silver. I was like, this, this <laughs> one was like, originally, uh, it's as I started to kind of put the detail, it was like, um, that's gonna be big, but I I love, it's like, it, I kind of thought about the monkeys, you know, mm -hmm. and hear, you know, hear, see, speak, no evil kind of thing. And I just thought, yeah, same kind of idea because Owls are wisdom. So if you, yeah, 
Yeah. yeah, I think of uh, like the three wise men at Christmas time. That's kind oh of my goodness. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's totally. Joanna, this is your January. <laughs> <laughs> and then ring 20887. We've got a size 5 and a size 8 available. This is a great, like, look at how he's curved to just kind of, yep, doesn't matter where you're at, he's just going to curve around. Yeah, so many people have different animals that they collect and stuff. So I did a lot of owls, I did a lot of turtles, I did a lot of butterflies, a lot of dragonflies, um, that type of thing. But if I showed you the buckets and buckets of stuff that never made the cut, um, yeah, these are some of the best of the best. So, and it doesn't, it takes so much time to cultivate and, and to finally get that winning piece. And there will be some that I would never stop carrying in my collection. And I've tried on a lot of the other ones and kind of said, no, nope, those are gonna be my, that's gonna be one, my one owl, that's gonna be my one elephant, that's my lion, that's my panther, can't do much better than this. Like, We've got some amethyst little briolettes. Uh, first we showed that pendant, 6558, and then we've got size eight ring, 6559. This was a cut that I used in, uh, I into department stores a lot and because of that and it's recognizable like it is probably the most expensive end um, that you can do um but it's it's pretty spectacular though right bracelet six five five seven is a seven five fitting a six and three quarters to a seven and three quarters Just see the amethyst babies. This is you'd be paying big bucks for oh, this yeah. bracelet out in the real for world. Sure. Big bucks. And then okay, the ring I had to make kind of edgy though. <laughs> six five six zero, and then we've got a butterfly earring mm -hmm. two three eight five. Okay, these are that. Um, I actually have a ring that actually matched this to it. Looks like they sold out of it, um, but yeah, just really beautiful. Nothing on the back, but just yeah that basically butterflies just kind of on the vine. I like the shape of this earring. Yeah, it's a it's cool, very unique. like, almost like J-hoop, mm -hmm. but elongated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <gasps> okay, the birds and the bees and the, yep. Uh, you ladies just kept asking me for bees, 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 bees. And um, so this was probably the last one that I did, but um, I've done four collections of bees. Um, and that has kind of stayed in my repertoire of designs. So this is the honeycomb. Yeah, because I love honey. <laughs> I love me some honey. I love it. You got the little Janella dares on some of the little honeycombs there. Pendant 6894. Yeah, I try to like go into more branding just so like you kind of go, yep, oh, that was Chanel's. Because the critters tend to be like hoppy a lot. Got which... hammered on one side, I polish on the other. So pretty. Bracelet 6893 is a 6.5, fitting a 575 to a 675. And then we've got size 8 ring 6895. Yeah, this was one. Actually, I designed this one really. It was sitting there, then I finally approved it. So it's one of those things where it's like, I sold it to actually somebody, designed it for them. And then what happened is, um, it would not be to my standards. I, like, I go from, you know, I would design for people different price points or different, like, what they wanted. It'd be customized to them. And I can tell you, you're never going to know I designed it. Because <laughs> it would never put my stamp or name on it, but... They're people, that's not their thing. They're just more of a business person or um, kind of a talker, I guess. I, I, I never really was very public, but then I kind of went there and then realized, oh, I'm not really loving that either. Okay, here's my, oh, you guys put my, my gemstone bee in. So, um, oh, I just love the, I love this uh, bracelet. This is color uh, quartz so good. bracelet 6575 mm -hmm. is a 675 fitting a 575 to an 8. So lots yeah. of adjustability. And look at that. Look at that gorgeous curtain. I love this. Okay, we still have the ring too. I love the ring. 
yeah, and look at again. Oh yeah, we gotta get get them hidden wow. in there. Size eight ring, six five seven seven. You know what I did? I actually um, recently, ladies, and you'll be getting it. I actually did this kind of idea. I worked with some stone cutters to do two cats. So I did Tiger's Eye and Labyrinth. I can't remember which one I decided to go with, but it's um, kind of in this idea. So I can't wait because to me, I love these big statement. I love seeing my girlfriends where I'm mm -hmm. like, oh my gosh, you just look like so confident and such the boss in these kind of rings. Cause you just, yeah, it's like your, your jewelry. A little confidence boost. Mm -hmm. And then pendant six, five, seven, six. Oh, I keep going to centimeters today. Getting the tiny bite. Okay. Okay. On to, oh my gosh. We, you guys did. It's so funny. Okay, every critter I ever did, unfortunately, no, because I've done so many critters, but oh my gosh, you're going to laugh. These are so cute. So <laughs> I did these bunnies coming out of your ears. So literally. You're like, like hopping on out. Yes. So do you see where he's just like, hello. So this is a little stud bunny out of your ear. Super cute. Uh, stud <laughs> earring, three, four, six, four. <laughs> so whimsical. Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. So, yep. Pendant three four six two. Oh, he is a medallion. Oh yes. And then the bracelet. Bracelet three four six one is a six seven five, fitting from a six to a six seven five. I love this style. This was a thin style. And the bunny. He, he should be yoga bunny because look at him. He's, He's so like, cute wrapped around yep, your finger. I'm like, yeah, I got you. Size eight ring, three, four, six, three. So his ears, yep, he did go up. to reshow this guy. Oh, yes. I didn't so catch sizing. who it was. Who does this fit? Uh, bracelet 6557. Uh, Lori, this one's for you. This will fit. Sorry, I went back in my pages. This will fit from a 675 to a 775. Beautiful, like, cushioned edge there. We're getting requests for you to do those bunny studs again. Oh, the bunnies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys will have to decide. I don't know. Like, a lot of this, I, I, yeah. Around Easter, we have to just put all the bunnies into okay. one and then figure it out, right? <laughs> Pick our most favorite. <laughs> I liked this combo of um, ameth amethyst and tanzanite. Bracelet 6723 mm. is a 675, wow. fitting a 6 to a 675. Look at that. Ladies, that is a competition cut. Like, man, the quality of that amethyst is. Oh my gosh, this, yeah, this is one of my best little bracelet styles, too. Of course, when I'm putting tanzanite in the most expensive kind of amethyst you can get, like, of course, it's got to be quality, quality. Look how beautiful that is. I love the Janela Daryl on the bottom. Tanzanite and amethyst to me are so, so pretty together. Like it's just money to me. It's like so rich. Size eight ring, six, seven, two, five. I mean, purple is the color of royalty, so I can see why. Oh my gosh. It, it, you know what? The price went up so much on the amethyst, but oh my gosh, I'd love to do this again. So pretty. Pendant six seven two four, and this one is a is a star cut, correct? Um, this star one cut? is we call it faceted carved, so it's not the star cut, but you almost see like a floral pattern. See? Oh, yep, we can see that. Do you see the? 
but yeah, we, I call it faceted carved. So there's a little bit of a table, but then you see I go further in and bigger micro faceting on the outside, which draws the color out. In amethyst, to be honest, this is literally one of my favorite cuts to do. Because the back side of the stone, the amount of cutting and um, is, is crazy, crazy. Oh, see, I see what she's saying. Because see how, like, sometimes you get that picture of that. See, because I, this one has more of an open, but you can almost see that. Star. It's a flower, though, but it, it does take the look of the star on, yes. Mm -hmm. I kind of, like, call it a flower star kind of in a way. But yeah, kind of a combo. It's just, to me, is like a uh, kaleidoscope of just layers of, you're like falling into, it's like this beautiful slide down of these yep. gorgeous colors. And then we've got the Tanzanite earrings, earring 6726. Okay, I will get him. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, you can't move on. She's very, like, get over there. And, and I'm like, ooh, ooh, I want to do this butterfly next. Okay. These are very cool. Yeah. I love these ear wires. Yeah, oh, that's these a are good really ear wire. I see the back. Yeah, these are good. Yeah, this is some beautiful work. Wow. Okay. So, oh my gosh, you know why? Because these were so, so cute. I love this little section together. Um, remember all the moissanite that I did, ladies? I have the little stud, remember? So this was that piece, like, it, it is... Probably the smallest little bead with the most, and you see the little branches and the flowers and the two butterflies. So yeah, this this is, I love these. I if love nobody these. takes these home, I might have to take them home for my niece. They're like perfect They're size so for cute, her. Right? Earring 6050. Okay. And then we've got pendant 6048. Yeah, these. Yeah, I've done a lot of different collections in a lot of different sizes, expanding it bigger, smaller, but it's kind of one of my signature looks when you see it, you're like, oh, that's Chanel's cluster. Yep. Very cute. Um, and yeah, we needed just something with the, the really beautiful uh, filigree fringe panties, that gorgeous tree of life that I love to use. And yeah, just really new beginning, leaves, everything. Bracelet 6047 is a 725, fitting a 675 to a seven and a half. And this was the Into the Wind set. 725. You know what? It's funny because sometimes on the 725s, nope, this one doesn't fit me. Because yeah, like a little on bit. the tip to tip one, you know, the carnelian, mm -hmm. I used to always wear the 725 because I didn't have a smaller size, but now I made the size for me. So now I don't have to worry about that. But. We've got some lavender opal up next. Mm -hmm. And this is a round bagel. Everything we've shown you so far has been ovals, but this is a round, okay? Because I know everybody likes to know about what's round and what's oval. I designed this bracelet and we actually have it in stock in the round. I designed it as a three stack. So you would wear two of those. You know, I always say on the round bracelets, get two. Mm -hmm. Then I did the series of the gemstone bracelets that slide in between. Yep. So I think I gave those bracelets to you guys to run. Yeah, we, uh, some, I think there was some emerald ones. We've had quite a few of those round bangles. But this is, um, and I have the watermark ones where you can do the round bangles, but this just creates that gorgeous, gorgeous stack. And then this is bracelet 6361. We've got a 675. This is a round fitting a 575 to a six and a half. And then a round seven and a half fitting a six and a half to a seven and a half. Matching ring 6363 in a size eight. And matching pendant 6362. And now I can hear it. <laughs> it's like listening to yourself on voicemail. Nobody <laughs> wants to hear it. <laughs> Hearing 6364. Oh, oh, love this. Love this because this was the shape. I mean, you saw just from a gemstone to, you know, when I do in collections, like, oh, I need it in butterfly. Oh, I need it in. Anyway, love the dragonflies because any dragonfly butterfly. I, but you know what? I have this. Um, 
the little dragonflies in Bali, like we have our little lunch time that we do and they swarm around and um, yeah, I, I just yeah, love my dragonflies in Bali. I feel like they always just kind of give me that calmness. I'll go back after lunch. They swirling around. I just mm -hmm. love them. I just love them. We always get them at the dock at the lake. And so they kind of like sit and hang out with you while you float in oh the water. My gosh. <laughs> Oh, yep, summertime. Michelle and her boat. 10 to 6, 6, We might be moving one. shows around because it's boat time <laughs> in the summer. It is boat time in the summer. <laughs> and then earrings, 6, 6, 8, 3. And then up next, we've got some Mojave turquoise. Oh, my gosh. This is that really old, old material that I had. And uh, the coloring in this one was phenomenal. Yeah, the coloring on this the piece metallic. is metallic. I mean, it's like you get these really cool blues, purples, but almost periwinkles too. And this is such a great little bracelet. Oh my gosh, look, it's so pretty with this, right? Oh, yeah. It actually, you almost get that in some of it. Do you see? Mm-hmm. Like the, the coloring. Isn't that crazy? Oh, we've got Michelle sneaking what in. What you got? What you got, Michelle? I, I just heard you talking about boating. So I hop on in here for a minute. Oh, We're now. Well, the ladies were asking if they could have a coupon, so I thought maybe we could oh. throw a 40, since I just moved right. everything off, you know, the social page and put it back to full price, maybe we could give them a percentage off if they wanted to go get something. In this down one that's full well, price. You know me, I'm gonna always say yes to everything. So <laughs> whatever you want to do, it's a yes. Okay, ladies, I'm gonna go put something in the feet. It's a, always a yes. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, that bracelet is gonna fit from a six to an eight and a quarter, and then we've got size eight ring six three eight seven. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm kind of loving this right now because we are going to have a whole series of the purple turquoise with the boys and berry quartz. Um, so, man, I love this. Um, yeah, that's going to be amazing. You know what? I'm going to do like a little display here because I've got some really gorgeous pieces here. And they've got a lot of I've got to tell you, I, I'm going to put these together. But let's go through the boysenberry first because. Bracelet 6417 is a 725, fitting a 6.5 to a 7.5. The boysenberry calcidney is like, I, I just. You get a glow under this pretty. light that I did not notice earlier today. So pretty. Mm. Okay, so that's your tip to tip. So there we go. And then, of course, your pendant. Pendant Stud earring six four two zero. Okay, so there's that. But oh, I had to get that amethyst. Oh my gosh. Okay, so you thought the other one was so amazing. So this with the tan night bracelet. I'm sorry if you're an amethyst base baby. These are some of the most elite amethysts. I'd say with the tan night and this one. This was. One that literally when we got it, I knew that I should, it was a no because of the price, but I ran anyway. Ladies, I made nothing on this bracelet when I launched it <laughs> because I, I was, I had to, I was obsessed with just running the stone once, you know? It's such a unique piece. I would do that crazy stuff. The fact that I, sometimes I'm in business still, I'm like, oh, with, it's like, no, somebody's going to love this. They're going to, I've got to do this. This anyway, is so bracelet pretty. six four seven eight. It's a six seven five, fitting a six to a seven seven five. And for two twenty nine, somebody's gonna be very lucky taking that home. Yeah, the, the quality, just this everything about it. And you get that just billy if you want to wear it fitted or roomy. Oh, so pretty. That's why I had to grab that with the boys and very. Okay, you know that I actually um, did this in the. Um, that garnet in the shape of a nail, but this was my original one that I had done. And after I did this, I was like, okay, I'm gonna go in. So I did the really beautiful amethyst drops. So I love that we showed a bunch of things that would go back and tie this back in together, right? Love, this is pendant 6358 and stud earring 6360. 
drops, um, it doesn't matter like my competition cuts and stuff like that, but drops are the most expensive because to get every spear, you're, you're dealing with so many different shapes and ways for them not to be exactly calibrated. And of course you have to. So, um, yeah, I'm obsessed with them, but they're not, um, anytime you say to my jewelry, it's not what you're supposed to be paying because the price, I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'd be getting into those crazy, crazy prices and nobody can afford. And it looks like Michelle did come through with that coupon. So we've got 40% off any full priced item. One time use expires uh, tonight at midnight and you can use 40 off for that. We have, let's see, bracelet 6610 is a 675, fitting a 575 to an 8. Gorgeous. Yeah, this is the best of both worlds. So you get your charm, you get your beautiful bar style, and that really beautiful silky satiny chain. Oh, I actually have more pieces. Yep, for we've that. got the whole collection okay. here. Well, here we go. So I do, I've got the beautiful, like, well, it, it, I wanted to play off the heart because you see this is a heart. And I remember when they did this, ladies, they literally cut it and it was a ball. It wasn't a heart. And I was like, mm, that's not no, what I I'm want. I'm pretty sure I drew a heart. <laughs> um, so anyway, so we ended up redoing it and I'm so glad because I, I love that. I like the band on this one. This is size eight ring, six, six, one, two. And this is the Tahitian uh, mother of pearl shell. So look at, you get that rainbow, like mm -hmm. the quality of this is next level. The reds, the greens, the yellows. Next level. Pendant 6611. Um, make the enhanced quarters. And then my little s roll bezel. Just hugging that little wing and heart together. And then earring, 6613. Okay. And we are going to switch gears. So that was the end of the sky blue vault. We are moving on to the volcanic vault, which you can also find under socials and specials. So we're gonna start with some Mabe pearls first. Oh my gosh, they are gorgeous. So I'm going to have to keep all of these in order. And you know what? I think I'd like to actually put the tray under. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Or no? Is there a reason? No, you, you told certainly me, could. Oh, what I, did that no, come I dropped, this tray? I dropped it. Oh, because I'm like, <laughs> you told me I had no, to stay in me. order. Did I just do that? Um, so I'm gonna turn these around like this because yep. I kind of feel like I wanna show everybody everything so they can see what is coming up because there's literally only one of these. What I'm showing is all we're going to have. The mabes, because I can't get the mob, the other mabes are gonna be a little, very, 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 very pricey. So this is old stuff, ladies, the older things. And so I'm just literally going to show you and we're going to start from this side going this way and then we're going to go this way. Um, but this will be the actual piece you will get. Okay. So the very first piece has the mabe pearl shell in the middle and then it has the freshwater pearl on the end cap. Okay, so these are like really like even back then see where I just had my regular start of stamps sometimes. These are, um, yeah, this is more vintage, I would say for sure. And this is bracelet J8001. It's a 725 fitting from a 7 to an 8. And you have that on. Would you be comfortable wearing that? Could we kind of lower oh, that yeah. size range? This, yeah, so we'll say maybe like a 6 I would five. have my bangle. Yeah. Okay. So I always, I, I always wear mine. Like I probably could go a quarter inch down to, um, even a half inch to, um, yeah. This is, this is common for me to to wear this one. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Gosh, the luster on that pearl is really picking up nicely. Okay. So the next one, ladies. So there's. Oh, did we get the style number to them? I wasn't. Yep. Listening. Yep. Okay. So one only. So this is a. Uh, Literally the flat jaw one uh, end caps with the Bali and the snake chain. 
Bracelet 8002 is a size 7, fitting a 675 to a 775. And again, perfect size for me. I'm on the first one, but it's going to fit a lot of you ladies. So there is the mauve pearl here. Okay. Now, oh, this is a big mauve. Okay. So um, then we're going into just the mauve with the white freshwater pearl. And this is a slide through pendant 8008. 99.99. Holy cow. And mauve's from Indonesia tend to be more, like, they call them white, but they tend to be a little bit more on... Like a like creamy not, white? A creamy white, yep. So, um, but they call them white, so that's what we, we do. But it definitely has, a, where it would be kind of a cream. And this is pendant 8009. Okay, on to the next. Pendant 8010. This one's got a little bit of depth to it, which is really nice. Yeah, man, these are vintage. Well, these are vintage. Like, I'm remembering the stuff and thinking, oh my gosh, we're talking decades uh, when I did these. So, anyways, just fun to pull them out, like, for you ladies. This is Pendant 8013. <laughs> okay, so. Size 8 ring, 8015. The side gallery on that one is This great. one is, yeah, I did its gorgeous bracelet and I had a chain link like shank that went down. But yeah, this is one of my just really beautiful signatures. I did earrings, like I did a whole little series of this uh, for somebody. And then I ended up bringing it back in, so. Ring 8016, we've got this in a size 7 and a size 9. It's a really vintage, right ladies? Like, is that crazy? The size on some of these mauve's. This is a 9? Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say. Okay, so, okay. Ring 8017, this is a size 7. So that means this finger, yep. Okay. And this one? Ring 8018, we've got a size 9 and a size 10. Oh, a 9 and a 10. Okay, yep, that's too big, but that's good. A 9 and a 10. Yes, Patty, this is the volcanic vault. Getting okay, a little bit of mauve. Ooh, look at that one. And this one is ring 8019. Oh, is this this is a size 9. Is that actually. We've got Mabe listed on this one. Or. Oh, I don't know about. Is that like Paul. If that's something in it, I don't want to send this one. Out. Okay. Let's. I can't tell if it's just somebody polished it or it might have just been a little bit from polishing. We'll take Maybe a look at it and put it away make sure. Oh yeah, I don't think it's the pearl. Okay. <laughs> Good. But I was like, oh no, 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 we can't send that one out if it is. It's not the pearl. It was just, oh, I love this style though. Yeah, that's oh, a my fun gosh, little I love style. This style. Not oh, yeah, defective. I'm so glad. Okay, I'm so it glad. is clean. Yes, that was, was ring like, nope. 8019 in a size 9. Okay, oh, I love this. And then style. up next, this is ring 8021 in a size 7. Oh, oops. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Just There's my seven. True. <laughs> it is true. It's a seven. Okay. And all the pearls should be true to size. Yes, we'll let okay. you know if they're not. So these are one. Okay. This is crazy, crazy uh, quality here. This is ridiculous. Earring 8022. Wow. wow. The quality on these are like next level. Holy Toledo. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. of course, because they're earrings. Like to match two up is insane. Okay, so that's all the mauve pearl we have. Wait a minute. We've got, I think, one more. This way. This way. Yep. Okay. So, oh, sorry, we do have one more. We have a little bit. Okay, yeah. sorry, I'm just going to put these around so you can see what they look like. 
So I have to keep them in order so Sarah can tell you what we're doing. And so I can put them back and you actually receive your right pieces. And just a reminder, you can find this product under Socials and Specials in the Volcanic Vault. And right now we have oh a gosh. Be Our Valentine gift with purchase. So you'll receive a free pendant with $275 purchase. That will pop up in your cart once you've met that threshold. So these, it's so funny. I. Oh my gosh, these are sold. I can't believe you guys pulled this out. So a lot of these you will see of things like, yeah, I made I like those thousands little type and of thousands bags. of these for people. Like this was something, yeah. But I was I never ever got rid of my intellectual oh whoopsie. There's some tarnish on those. These need to be clean better. Please put down clean. Because these are I'm talking these are like twenty eight years old. Earring 8024 is what you just saw. And then we've got the studs, earring 8025. With that beautiful S bezel. Wow, these are cool. That, these are huge. These are really expensive now. Like those, these are like, those are good. <laughs> and then- This has the gold. This yep, the this one's got the 18 karat gold and yeah, the pink mabe. Bracelet 8026 is a 725 fitting from a 7 to an 8. Beautiful. Well, and this is a really nice size one too. So funny, I'm just laughing at all the stuff you guys are finding. <laughs> and it's like, there's probably like four more saves of stuff, but I'm like, no, <laughs> you can't show that one, that's too old. <laughs> Like, I don't, but you know what? Eventually you know, we'll if, if They don't like them, they don't get them, but it's like, oh my gosh. Because, you know, things have evolved, and I have made so much for other people that could only do a certain price point, so, mm -hmm. of course, Lots you know, of hidden gems. Well, my best, my best always do for me now, like, but there's other people. We had all different levels of costing, so we could get to everybody's price point for different people that I designed and manufactured for, so... That's why I gotta make sure you're not bringing those pieces out. <laughs> and this is a bracelet 8027. It's a seven and a half, fitting a seven and a quarter to an eight and a quarter. Okay, okay, now we're going into the whole can. Yep, this is bracelet 8034, a 725, fitting from a seven to an eight. Oh, I love the granulation work on this one. Yeah. This was my good. highs and lows. With some, so elegant, so timeless, like, yep, so beautiful. Okay, so here you go. So there you go on that bracelet. Oh, I've got the little Janela Dare beads. Mm-hmm. With little connectors. Isn't that gorgeous on your wrist? Yeah. Okay, on to, oh, this one's more edgy, kind of contemporary. Yeah, with that diamond shape. I love it. This is bracelet 8035. Again, a size 7, fitting a 675 to a 775. This volcanic really tricks you. One way it's red, one way it's blue. Mm -hmm. So fun. Bracelet 8036 is a 725, <coughs> fitting a 7 to an 8. My whole look, like I did a lot of bangles and stuff, but I, you know, um, when I designed for other people, I really did more bangles, structured things, but my look was that double chain sort of was like, mm -hmm. and I kind of did in all different stones because then it allowed me to just design for other people and not really kind of impede when I was doing that. But now it's all mine, so I get to bring now everything out for whatever you want. Yeah. So it's like, you know, when I decided to do that, but. Okay, so this one, ooh, this is gonna fit some uh, people too, the, the, the size of this one, so this yep. is nice. This is ooh, bracelet 8040, it's a seven to five, fitting from a seven to an eight. Actually, we have that from a seven to five to an eight to five. 725 wrist. Mm hmm. Oh, see, I'd say six and a half. I'd say six and a half to. I wonder. I need to work at the long ruler. Do you have the long ruler? Right in front of you. So a seven and a half, I would go down one inch, yep, to a six and a half, and it's only going to go to an eight. Okay. Is that what it says? Mm -hmm. We will get that updated. So six and a half to an eight. Okay. So. Alrighty, pendant. I love this one. I 
I think all the volcanic are slide on pendants and not pendant enhancers. Yes, no pendant enhancers back then. So, um, yeah, everything is going to have the. What's where are your that? little satellite chains with them? Or your volley chains? Or any of the collars would be mm -hmm. nice too. Uh, this is pendant 8044. Yeah, this one. Um, yeah, this one is really cool. This is the fast casual. Yep. In it. I, did they put that? Yep, okay. it sure is fast casual. Because everybody must have been like, what stone is that? And this is pendant 8045. Okay. I just, I'm, I can't believe we're doing like some of these old school ones, ladies. They're like, it's such a blast for my cast. I'm like, you gotta be kidding. This is crazy. Pendant 8047. They're like, I haven't seen that from Janelle. Pendant 8051. Yeah, because it's been about, I think, 28 years when I found the volcanic and got talked into trying it. And I was like, I told you it was like, the Volcanic, the Rainbow, the Caribbean, my best selling gemstones ever. Pendant 8054. And it's so amazing I how you can take one. the same gemstone and it looks so different in all these different shapes. Right? Pendant 8056. And pendant eight zero five seven. Size seven ring eight zero five eight. Oops, size seven. Yep. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Oh, whoopsie. It's like these were hiding. It's like, oh, can't see them yet. You can't see them yet. Okay, so now onto here. Oh, so we have two sizes. So it's oh, the yep. same ring. We have got ring 8060 in a size 6 and a size 7. 6. That was my bad, putting both of those on and there. And a 7. So either way, like it looks beautiful, right? Oh, yeah. So 7 goes there, 6 goes there. And then stud earring, 8072. Mm, Those are wow, a fun stud. Wow. Okay, two bracelets. Oh, we got some Caribbean. Yep. So this is that really cool cable. Um, I remember Amberly when she was here. Janelle, we want this this cable. <laughs> so I think there's something coming where I'm, we're, we're practicing on that again because we, we kind of got out of touch with, with the cable. But... Um, the, yeah, that person that has cable bracelets, I actually made a lot of stuff and designed a lot of this stuff for them. So really cool stuff. Beautiful cable. I'm so old, I think about that now. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> that was bracelet 8075, a size 7, fitting a 625 to a 725. And then this one oh. is 8077, a oh, size 7, fitting this. a 6 to a 7. I love this stuff. Always my favorite. Like, I love the high polish of this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In just a style I ran forever and ever and ever. And that is paired with the Swiss blue topaz there. Okay. Let me get these turned around for you. Okay, we got some bracelets. This is all Caribbean now, ladies. Yep. So, oh, yes. Yes, and yes. Bracelet 8078 is a size 7, fitting shape. a 6 to a 7. Yeah, this is beautiful. I love those high Six to a seven. Yep, that's a good size. Jaw and beads on that. Yeah, that, that is, that's a better bracelet. Oh, bracelet. yeah. This style, like, it's like, it's so crazy. 
um, because it's just that simple, like perfect bracelet, you know, Bali chain with the adjustable. Bracelet 8080 is a 725, fitting a 6 to a 7. Okay, then we kept a beautiful cushion square with the granulation that's all through, through the, the end caps. Bracelet 8084 is a 725, fitting a 6 to a 7. And then, oh, yes. Into the pendants, pendant 8095. Okay. And pendant 8097. Well, that's a fun back. Yeah, I, I did the version in this in Praise Your Light with gold. Oh, that would have been beautiful. Pendant 8099. These are when it's so funny. If you go onto Old Sarda, like this is all stuff that got Pinterested out there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, this is such a cutie pie. Like, this is one of my favorite, like, yeah, this is my Komen. Yeah, beautiful granulation work. Pendant 8100. This one. This is Fiji Clay. Is this one Fiji Clay? Fiji Clay. Okay, I was going to say, this isn't Caribbean. This one's Fiji Clay. Fiji Clay Quartz, which is completely, you can't get any of that anymore. So this is extra special. That's gorgeous, yeah. Pendant 8101 is that Fiji Clay. And then ring 8102, we've gotten a size 6 and in a size 9. Oh, yeah, that's a 9. <laughs> so when you said 6, I was going to my sim like, oh, no, no. Oh, I love this style. Yeah, I that's love a nice the style. open lattice work. Like, it could be more traditional, classic. Like, love this, love this. We need this back. Yeah, just, just a great little, little ring. Ring 8103 is a size 8. And we've also got that in a size basket weave. Basket weave. Watermark. Yeah. I love it. It's like kind of some old, old plays off some of the, the designs and the motifs that I used. Ring. I did this one in the volcanic too. Yep, you sure did. Eight one one six. That one is a size seven. Just one. Yep, size seven. Look how pretty that is on. I feel like this is a perfect day to be showing Caribbean quartz. We need a little warmth in our life with right? this freezing so weather. Cool. Oh my gosh, this is. Ooh, this is mine. Oh, I love these big ones. Okay, this is yes. Love this. Ring look at this. Eight one one nine is a size seven. Oh oh my gosh! Look at that. Yes. Okay. This is like I made a ring style like that where it moved with your finger, like it was mm -hmm. like kind of one of these crazy pieces. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna make something that's actually more comfortable and wearable, and that was this. So pretty. Wow. That looks like a lot of money. <coughs> All right. Is this our last tray? We've got one more. Oh, this. okay. Ladies, we're getting down. Yeah. We're getting down. And actually, we There's have a really little bit much. of black yeah. spinel. Yeah, because we go into black spinel after this. So yep. Caribbean, some black spinel. Last bit of Caribbean. We've got ring 8120. It's a size 7. Oh, we'll skip this one. Nope, that one. Okay, we have got ring 8121, it's a size 8. Oh, do you want to mark it though? I don't, yep. I know. I love this cushion cut. 8, there we go. See how the granulation work too? Wow. Okay. Ring 8122 is a size 7. Oh, this, this is not a 7. Am I on the right one? This is a 9 or a 10. A... Oh, I'm sorry. That is a 9. Oh, okay. And I'm looking at... 
Well, because remember I took this one. Oh, shh. This is the mist of it. There was a couple that got snagged right before the show. That might have been one of them. Okay. And then we've got oh, stud earrings. Wow. These have the Omega wow. backs. Yes. Earring 8125. Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, those are beautiful. We have got the, okay. We have got another pair of studs. Eight one two eight is those are those. Oh, those are so small. They're so cute. These are the little ones. These are eight millimeters. These are so cute. And then last pair of Caribbean quartz earrings, eight one three two. <laughs> oh my gosh. This was like my signature little style that I ran, like, yeah. Ran for a lot of people. We got necklace. This is hematite and black spinel necklace eight one three eight. It's a twenty one inch with a four inch extension. I remember the, the ladies. Look at the look at the detail on those. That is all bezel set into these like this is so hard i love this piece but i got to a point where it was like it was too hard to to make them but oh my gosh this is gorgeous this is like a blast for me yeah this is wow it's amazing to see like some of the things that like oh yep yeah. okay this one we have got bracelet 8150 that is a seven inch Fitting a six to a seven. Oh yeah. Oh, six to a seven? Uh-uh. This is not too big for me. Okay, we will get that. Six and a half to a seven and a half. Okay. Yeah, six and a half to a seven and a half. We Whoops. will get that updated. So this six and a half to a seven and a half, ladies. Pendant 8155. Okay. Yeah, this was that whole series. Oh my gosh. Crazy. I did remember that ring, ladies. I did a whole ring that was like completely like, you know, that went around. In the back. And then we've got the black spinel ring 8168, a size 8. That's a great little ring. I like that. It feels good. Okay. Beautiful gallery. Oh, this is my all time like favorite, favorite. Um, I did a lot of different versions. This was a very signature look of mine from Mob April to every other gemstone. I did the really beautiful frangia panties but i also did a bunch of granulation work um but this was kind of my signature ring so you always saw this but i always changed from jawan beads to a tree of life um but this was my signature for like pretty much 28 years when i started i feel like things. you have an upgraded version of this with that yeah. amethyst now that's yeah, what it reminds it's like, me of. It's always been kind of that recognition. Like mm -hmm. my, my fingerprint, you can kind of see it, right? This is a size 7 ring, ring 8173. Yeah, these are great. Definitely had started DMA some stuff back like yeah. that because it's just too perfect. Yeah. All right. But yeah, in the new upgraded version, right? So these are those little pieces. I love that too because... I did a whole series of bracelets and everything that was kind of, you know. But this was my S Sarda. That is um, earring. Design. 8187. And um, it was kind of cool because there was another designer that I ended up doing a whole huge series that I manufactured, like way before I brought it back again. So, oh, whoops, sorry, I skipped to it. Okay, oh, this is such a great ring. Is this a seven? I feel like it's a seven. It is. It. Oh, it's so pretty. See, that's two stone. That is a six, actually. 
Oh, it's a six. Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez. Or, nope, that is a seven. We've oh, got a six like, oh, and a seven. I'm this is ring 8175 in the size seven and then also a size six. Oh, that is so funny. And okay. then this one is the black spinel and white topaz ring 8178. Ooh. We've got this in a size Ooh, seven and a size eight. eight. <laughs> Did you say that slept? to me too? It gets I'm like, crazy. ooh. <laughs> it's almost like my hand was getting burnt. I'm like, ooh, ooh. Okay. I don't know. But it's the last trace, so they're they're playing tricks on us. So. <laughs> okay. Um, this was very like Art Nouveau. Like um, I, this was actually a collection I started drying on the plane and getting really micro. And then as soon as I got home to Bali, it was like, oh my gosh, we gotta put this to works and it was just something so different, and, and I always liked kind of launching some kind of really unusual things um, because I designed so many different things for other people, and then every once in a while I'd get kind of crazy myself for something. I love how all the so silver signature. work overlaps on that one. Mm -hmm. This is ring 8180. We've got this in a size 6 and a size 8. And then last but These not the least, earrings that go with it too. Yep, we've got matching yeah. earring eight one eight one. And then my very last, like yeah, and that I is designed a gorgeous series of eight one eight seven. They had a lot of success with it. They ran it for a long time. Okay. Okay, I have a couple of requests for us. I need mm -hmm. to find them first. Oh sure. Um, first was a request to reshow this set Ooh, right here. Jasper. Yep. Oh my gosh, the red Jasper. Okay, so this is pretty, pretty amazing. And we've been working on getting this kind of, oh yeah, see? Oh, was it the ring? Because it is pretty. Look at that. Well, it's not my size, the eight And we are back in the um, sky blue vault now. This is that rust, oh my gosh, with your carnelian and your sunstone and all those ambers. Like, oh, I'm doing so many cool stones that would go with this. This was the one that, too, I made that little, my bale with the little frangipanis panties on this one, too. I didn't use that very often. And then the bracelet. So you've got the fringe panties, then you've got the larger fringe panties flat jaw one, hammered, hand hammered, and this is a bracelet that you can adjust, okay? So, um, but it's it's definitely like solid silver, but you, you can, it's, um, see, I always say it's malleable going this way, you know? And what's the sizing? Can you tell me what the size would be on that yep, bracelet? Yep, this is a bracelet 1994, it's a size six, fitting from a six to a seven. Yeah, because this one, this is a bracelet. This, how much is this? This is $229.99. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. That's so good. Okay, wow. Okay, and then what we else have they request to see? reshow the bunnies. The bunny. So oh, we got a couple bunnies. So we have this one. Yep, and then I'm trying so to I will do one. this one. And let me show you the numbers. This is this bunny set, okay? Then we had, oh, the one with the bracelet. It was more of a round medallion style with the bracelet. So we have this bunny. And then let me show them together because maybe they're thinking one bunny for this. And would that bunny fit this bunny? So yes, you know, because of my tree of life filigree and stuff, you can mix the bunnies. Oh yeah, those absolutely 100%. Match perfectly. Okay. Look at that, look at that. Ooh. Okay, so um, this was this series, okay? So this was the ring to this one, to this bunny. And then the bracelet to this bunny set was this, with these little guys, the little bunnies here. And then we'll show this one, right? So we had, uh, we had the little bunny ring. You're really scragging me up. Don't mix the bunnies or we'll have many, many bunnies. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh these, bunnies, these bunnies are not gonna get around here, ladies. <laughs> we'll make sure to keep them separate. 
That is so cute. That's funny. Okay, this one. See the baby. And the mom is going, hey, behave, right? Um, this is, it's so funny because this mimics, I call it my triple wire. It was more than triple wire, but we'd say double uh, and triple wire where I was doing this really, my tree of life and kind of playing with more strands of the silver. So we did a back like that. And so this is pendant 2389 and then the actual bunny shaped pendant. Let me find him. This is probably my favorite bracelet, ladies. Don't, yeah, this bunny bracelet, this one is amazing. And then the little earrings. And so these are little studs. So I'll do the, see where the little bunny is gonna go in your ear right there. So literally your ear, he's gonna kind of like hop out of your ears. See his little arms? The little bunny stud. These like hard to make because you really have to show and see them on and yeah, that kind of thing. Okay, so what else, Sarah? Um, the last I'm is gonna just put this to one show separate. this, this one. and chat or just and let them know what the gemstones in this, this guy one. are. Oh, this is actual world hematite, not hematine. So back then, the fact that we actually got the pieces, so you know hematine has like pits and but they did an amazing job, right? So this is hematine. They have to do a lot of lab. Uh, uh. <laughs> well, just say we love you.